Good morning, good morning. Okay, let me just log in. Okay, hi, good morning. So today we are on day three. We are going over, if you're just joining this series, we are going over these six videos from Monday through Saturday are topics that are uh, covered in more detail in my reset, uh, which is a package deal that I put together. It's an ebook and um, five videos that go through various systems that are operating or govern governing the spirit world. And today we are talking about the system of surrender. Monday I covered uh, the system of soul ties. On Tuesday, yesterday, I covered the system of prayer. And today I'm covering the system of surrender. The system of surrender is also the system of authority. And the reason that I think it's very important that this is titled the system of surrender and not the system of authority is because without surrender, you'll never step into a place of authority. And just to kind of um, uh, highlight some things for you in the, in the word, Jesus marveled at a man and he was a centurion. He understood authority and surrender and he said to Jesus, I'm a man who's under authority. In other words, I've surrendered my own individual wants and wills and I've put it into this system. I've said yes to the system over my own desires and wills and that in turn has given me the authority to um, send to say to one go and he goes and say to another come and he comes so he understood very well that this was a system this was a spiritual principle that was operating the word of Jesus because he he had asked Jesus to not even come to his house he said you don't even have to come to me you know what just say the word because I understand the way that the system works and Jesus marveled about that and so when you understand the system of surrender this will also increase the level of authority. The more you are in surrender, the more authority that you will have. And this is, again, a spiritual principle, meaning that this is effective regardless of your background. It doesn't, your age, your gender, your religious beliefs, they have nothing to do with the operation of the system. This is something that is put in place to govern the unseen world regardless of any of those things. It's not a respecter of persons. And further proof of that is the fact that this man in that story, that centurion, he was a Gentile. He wasn't a Jew. He didn't have the um, same cultural beliefs. He didn't have the same religious principles. He wasn't following specific um, laws like the law of Moses or anything like that. He, But he said, I see, I recognize that this system that Jesus is operating in governs everything and I myself have even been participating in that system, that system of authority, that system of surrender. And so um, I say this only to say that there can be counterfeits and if you are not aware um, of which uh, system you're hooked up to, it can always appear and to be a different way. And I'm going to be talking more about that kind of thing on Friday. So that will be covered more on Friday. But today I primarily want to talk to you about the system of surrender. And I would like to also kind of give you this analogy. I uh, work with people a lot one-on-one -on -one who will tell me what they're doing, what they aren't doing. And I often hear, like, I've already tried that. I've already been doing that. You know, I've been surrendered. I've laid this down. I've been, you know, making sure that I'm diligent in doing certain things like prayer and fasting or getting together with a group of believers or standing in agreement for this thing to happen and yet I haven't seen any kind of shift happening and the thing to understand is that there is th these these spiritual principles are outside of time meaning they're eternal meaning it, you can you they're they're passed down these kinds of systems the, these ways of thinking these ways of the lord if you are hooked up to God uh, are, are transferable and so I liken it to the fact that if you have two unhealthy parents in the natural and they have a child that child is likely going to grow up unhealthy meaning they might not have good eating habits they don't know about exercise they they maybe have a sedentary lifestyle and there are things that are going to be transferred to that child just by because they, of who their parents are 
the opposite is also true by the way like if you have healthy parents you're more likely to be active you're going to learn more about nutrition and good eating habits and all of that kind of stuff so in the spirit world if you are that unhealthy child if you have been brought into this world with uh into a system maybe that participates in witchcraft or it's very religious it's a legalistic mindset there's going to be additional weight on you in the spirit world just as if you know you were you were in the natural born to these parents you would probably be overweight <clears throat> and so this process of surrender is different and it can be longer for different people so for example um, somebody who comes into the world who has a basic understanding a fairly good understanding you know maybe their their parents are spirit-filled maybe they know some spiritual things um, and they're raised in that environment, they're not going to have as much weight to lose as they progress, as they themselves mature, as they themselves continue on this journey. Then somebody who's born into a system where, you know, there are um, black arts or witchcraft or even things like a legalistic mindset, very, um, you, you know, not to, um, not to say that they're the only ones, but like Catholics who believe that you cannot get divorced and so people end up staying in abusive marriages and things like that, that will carry additional weight in the spirit. And so you understand that it's going to take a longer, um, there's going to be more involved, let's say that, because sometimes time really isn't a factor. Because again, these systems are outside of time, they're eternal. And so there's a way to bend time, to make time work for you and not against you, to even redeem the time. You know, Jesus had, had said that. Uh, but we also need to be aware of these systems because the days are evil, right? And so the, 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 the way that we spend our time is measured in the spirit realm. And so the, the person who's born into a system where there's legalism or even witchcraft or other things like that is going to have a different type of process of surrender than somebody who is born already with like a blank slate or maybe they even have uh, some extra things working for them just as in the natural if somebody is born with you know what we call good genes but they also have parents who enforce these healthy things these healthy ways of living like good eating and and healthy living active lifestyle that child is going to have less of a barrier to maintaining weight, to getting healthier, to um, to participating in the things that he wants to participate in than somebody who's who's born into a family who do don't have that kind of background, right? Who who are who eat out a lot at fast food restaurants, who don't understand the value of of meal prep, or who you know prefer the TV over playing outside or whatever. So there's going to be an additional process for some people when they come in. And this is why um, some people get frustrated because they say, well, I've been doing these things and yet, you know, I haven't seen anything change. And a lot of this is because like in the natural, if somebody, if you had two people, but they were on different levels and they'd been working out the same amount of time, they've been eating the same stuff consistently over a period of weeks. And yet one is still going to weigh less and be healthier than the other person. And it's because you can't measure according to, like I did it for a long enough time. And that really has to, goes back to showing you the state of the mind, the state of the mind of that person who's thinking that way because they're looking at it as like, I need to just do this to, you know, in the natural to lose weight or in this, in the operating with these spiritual principles to say like I'm just doing this to get what I want and it's revealing to you the state of your heart the state of your mind and it's that that has to change you know because if you're working out just to lose weight in the natural what happens when you lose all of that weight but you haven't adopted these things as a lifestyle this hasn't become a mindset this hasn't become you know a new way of doing life you're going to find yourself likely back in that situation again and the same is true um, for operating in these spiritual principles. If you're trying to use them just to get to like what you want, you're you're missing the whole point. These are these systems are established in order to frame a new way of doing life. We can partner with them and do a, a do life in a completely different way, and that 
is what we want to be able to transfer to our children. You know, if I'm once in a while healthy, if I'm yo-yo dieting, I'm teaching my children these unhealthy principles about eating, about diet, about body image. And same thing in the spirit realm, if I'm all of a sudden like all in on the Lord and I'm going to church all of the time and I believe in prayer and I'm setting aside this time and then I don't get what I want and so I stop praying, I stop going to church, I stop fellowshipping with other believers and all of this stuff, I'm teaching my children that this is, you only have a relationship with the Lord when you get what you want, when your prayers are answered and they're answered immediately and they're answered in the way that I pray. And so th this is, again, it, it reveals the mindset and so my reset uh, really takes you through hi Amy thanks for hopping on the reset really takes you through the uh, renewing of the mind that needs to happen and it again this isn't like a how-to but it more so points out what needs to be um, the ground that still needs to be tilled in your own heart so that the false beliefs and that kind of thing that maybe you're holding on to or even the areas where it's like you know what yes I'm just trying to manipulate or use this certain system and hook up with it for this period of time until I get what I want and then I'm going to go back to my old way of living and I explain more about this in the um, in the the reset the ebook uh, that goes along with this package but uh, just very quickly I I think that the centurion who I mentioned in the in earlier in this video is a fantastic example about what it means to understand the system of surrender and the system of authority and, and that they are one in the same so this man was um, was in the military and if you understand the way that the military works even in the natural you cannot just one day decide that you're in the military and then one day you decide you're not there's a commitment there and not only that it's not just like a commitment like hey I'm here I'm showing up you have to abide by certain rules and you have to do certain things and the same is true in these spirit spiritual systems and and knowing that it's more than a like once in a while thing that this is a set way of life it's the way that you think it's the way that you operate and walk out your life and the the closer that we can get to um, the, the more revelation that we have as I said yesterday the revelation that you have on a, a matter will directly affect your authority I can't affect what I don't know is happening if I don't know that that thing is happening I've got no authority over it because I don't know it's it's going on and the the way that that these systems are meant to work is to draw us more into the personality of God I saw that our, our these systems are meant to transform and renew our souls you know our spirits are completely hooked up with the Lord once we are born again they aren't dead they're awakened they're alive to him we can hear his voice we can respond to uh, to, to the things that he has commanded us to do we know our our purpose and we can walk these things out the soul is the filter between the body and the spirit and you know we, we like to say it's just our mind will and emotions it actually encompasses a lot more than that it's our personalities a lot of times we see somebody who has a character flaw as we say and it's because that part of their personality hasn't been touched by these systems it hasn't been these systems haven't been allowed to penetrate and to change that part of their soul so sometimes it's more than just their mind will and emotions it's their patterns of behavior it's the things that they do that aren't in line with um, uh, the ways of the Lord and understanding the system of surrender will help you to not only iron out those places and you know get rid of those <clears throat> things that have been allowed to exist maybe in your maybe generations you know maybe it's in your bloodline for generations those character traits those those flaws that need to be uh, uh, removed but also to instead establish a new system because again if you've been uh, paying attention it's not enough to just say like uproot something you have to plant something in its place otherwise that's a that's an area that's not occupied and not to get too deep into it but Jesus said about casting out demons he said that that one is gonna go away he's gonna see that his that space is is been put in order meaning that there is space for me to reside there and he's going to move in with seven of his friends who are more wicked than him and this is really what happens when we allow neutral territory blank space in our lives there is no blank space there is no neutral space in in any area of life 
and again I talk more about this in the actual reset um, and I don't want to cover it now but I just want you to be aware of the fact that tearing down or uprooting something isn't enough to undo or to <clears throat> cancel out the thing that was working there so if I had an apple tree but I wanted an orange tree there instead I take out the apple tree I still don't have any oranges unless I plant another tree there and it's an orange tree so the same thing is true of these systems that there will never be a space where there isn't a system like oh I'm just not doing I'm not doing a system in this area of my life it's not a thing that you're doing a system there and again the revelation that you have of it allows you to take authority over it and to either partner with it fully and say yes I love this I'm in agreement with it because it's the heart of the Lord or say no I don't like the way that I'm doing this I see that there's a better way God I want to hook up with this system that is of you would you teach me would you mentor me would you guide me into walking on this path deeper with you so that I can learn more about your personality and that is actually how we reflect Jesus it's in who we are it's not in what we do what we do is a reflection of who we are and until we can understand that like who who I am today when I wake up at 3 in the morning is the same person as I am now at 9 a.m. doing this Facebook live and when there is no a barrier in that it's it reflects the the closer that we are to walking on the path of the Lord and to having all areas of our lives renewed and given over to him that's a system of surrender given over to him putting it down at his feet and saying that you have the better way Jesus even when it doesn't make sense to me even though this doesn't you know I can't see how it's gonna turn out right now I know that you are the way you have the best in mind for me and I'm going to do uh, the will of the Lord I'm going to follow you even when it's so difficult and doing that is really what allows us to enter into and operate in, in this system of authority again I explain more about this and how those two relate how to uh, more fully operate once you're already been once you're in the system of surrender see a lot of times also people don't understand the way that these systems progress you know that there's <laughs> not like one level of any of these things and I mentioned yesterday there's systems within systems but as you continue to move on you should be stepping up and like getting promoted you should be taking over more authority but that's only once you're faithful with the little things because that's how increase comes um, and again this is spiritual principles meaning th they don't care they don't care about any of your background they don't care about your religious upbringing they don't care about your age your gender where you live on the planet these are these affect everybody regardless of that your socioeconomic status cannot outrun these principles these principles are going to stay the same even even if you're you're a president or you're a king it doesn't matter these govern everybody and so if you can understand the system of surrender you're going to understand the system of authority and how to step into the place that you were actually created to occupy and not only that but rule from that place so you can govern territories yes you can govern generations and and uh, and that is the type of people especially right now that the Lord is looking to raise up it's time to have the whole earth filled with his glory and that is done through people who can host the presence who literally are carriers of it it rests upon them it dwells within them and they can't help but release it into every place that they step and so I hope that this um, kind of helps give you an idea about the system of surrender which again is also the system of authority but you cannot have one without the other and um, if you want to know more about this system you can pick up the reset uh, I keep forgetting to put the link straight away when I start these video but I will uh, I will make sure that the video has the link um, if you want to pre-order it it'll be available um, on Monday the 20th which is this coming Monday but the price is going to increase right now it's on pre-order sale for only $19 so if you want to pick that up you can do so uh, at the link you guys I'm blown away by the amount of people who have already pre-ordered you guys thank you so much I know that this is something that um, that the Lord is really uh, speaking to me he wants this to be released and I know that it's supposed to just change the way and shift the way that you've been thinking about things and make a space available for you to move more fully more forward with the Lord and in uh, the purposes that he has for you for your families for your careers for your ministries 
all of that stuff. There's not a single area of your life that the Lord is neutral on. He has a plan. He has a system in place for every single area. And the more we understand that, again, with the revelation thing, the more we understand it, the more we can step into it, the more we can partner with it. So you guys, thank you so much. You guys, thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, I truly appreciate it. Head on over to my uh, personal page. Leave me your, I'm asking everybody to leave me your um, best piece of advice for moving forward. And especially if you're 10 years older than me or more. So if you're 44 and above, please give me your your best piece of advice that you would give to your 34 year old self. I cannot wait to hear from you. I've been loving the comments so far. So you guys, blessings. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're talking about kingdom systems of influence. And this is a really important one. I would say Thursday and Friday are among the most important ones. It Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, I'm sorry. Monday, Thursday, Saturday are among the most important ones to understand. Um, it, all, all of them are very important, but I saw that these ones were entry points. They were specific like starting points into this entire system. And Saturday during my Facebook Live, um, if you can't watch it live, make sure that you catch the replay because I'm going to tell you more about these dreams and specifically the way that they appear to me in the dream. And it's, it, I think it, that that part is going to be the most, um, it's going to put all of this stuff together and it's going to probably make more sense in understanding how these systems work and why they're important to know about. Okay, so that'll be on Saturday. Again, I'll have all of the videos up for replay if you can't make it live. These videos are, again, happening every day at 9, 9 Eastern. So, um, so yeah. All right. Well, you guys, thank you again so much for the birthday wishes. I truly appreciate it. Blessings on your day, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9.